Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at a standard A star level trigonometry question for GCSE Maths. Okay, so it says A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is a solid cuboid, as we can see here. And find the length of the line B, E. So you need to find the length of the line which runs from B to E, which is in fact this line here. It's not a very straight line, but there you go. So how do we do it? Well, if we see, that's actually a right angle triangle. This line is actually dissecting this plane here. And we already know the length of these two sides. This is 6.2, and AB has to be the same length as DC, which is 5. So from Pythagoras' theorem, we know that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the other two sides. Let's call it AB plus CD both squared. So let's fill in. H equals AB is 5 squared plus CD is 6.2 squared. Now to get H on its own we need to square root the answer that we get. If we do this in our calculator we will get an answer of 7.96 centimeters. And that's that part of the question done. Okay, in this second part of the question, we are asked to find the angle that the line BH, which is this red line here, makes with the plane ABFE, which is this pink plane here. Now, the hardest part of this question is actually finding out what angle it's actually asking you to figure out. And normally in a question like this, the first part of the question will follow on to the second. In the first part, we found this line here, BE. And as you can see, the line BE lies on the plane ABFE, the one we are interested in. And how does that connect? How do we connect BE to BH? Well, look, this line here, EH, connects them in a right angle triangle. The right angle being here. But how do we know that this is a right angle? Well, if these two planes, ABFE and EFGH, are actually perpendicular to each other because they're in a cuboid. So any two lines, B, and e, B to E being on this plane and E to H being on this plane, connected to each other, will actually form a right angle when the lines join together. So that's what happens here, BE joining to EH. Okay, so the angle we're trying to find is clearly this one here because it's from BH to the plane ABFE on which lies the line BE. Okay, so what do we know? We know the length of EH which is 12 centimeters and we know the length BE which we found out in the previous part of the question, which is 7.96. So that is your adjacent angle and 12 is your opposite. So what can we do with this? Well, to find the angle, we know we use so ka -tawa from basic trigonometry. When we want to find an angle, we have two sides. So we have an opposite and an adjacent. So we're going to be dealing with tan. Now the rule is tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent, so in this case 12, the opposite over the adjacent, 7.96. Now, to get theta on its own, we need to get rid of the tan, and how do we do that? We use anti-tan, or inverse tan, found on your calculator by typing shift tan. So tan to the minus 1 of the other side, so 12 over 7.96. Now type this into your calculator and you'll get the answer in degrees of 56.4. And that is the question now done. There's nothing else to it.